In this video, we will learn about the timeline. Chanda has come to Appu's house. She saw a photo album at Appu's house. Chanda opened the album and started looking through it. The album contained many photographs from Appu's childhood to date. Chanda told Appu, Why don't they together arrange those pictures chronologically from his childhood to date? Appu could not understand how they could do this. Chanda then told him that they could use the timeline to put his pictures chronologically according to time. Appu asked Chanda, What is this timeline? Children, do you know about the timeline? No, that's all right. A timeline is a line on which we can depict the events that have happened in the life of any person in order of chronology. Chanda removed these four photos from Appu's album. In this picture, Appu is celebrating his seventh birthday. In this one, Appu was in first grade. This picture was taken when Appu was one year old and his parents had taken him on a trip to Abu. And this last picture was taken when Appu first started speaking the word mother at the age of two. Chanda drew a horizontal line like this and explained to Appu, Look Appu, to make the timeline, we have to first draw a horizontal line like this. Then, we will write the age of the events we want to depict on it, from the youngest to the oldest. Children, here we have four pictures of Appu and his age in those pictures. Can you tell which of these ages is the youngest? Correct! Out of these, this picture of Appu, which was taken when Appu was one year old, will be shown first on the timeline by writing one year on it like this. Now, can you tell out of these pictures, the age of which picture will be chronologically next on the timeline? Well done children! You have found the correct answer. This picture, in which Appu was 2 years old, will be shown chronologically next on the timeline by writing two years on it. And which of these pictures will be next on the timeline? Yes, this picture of Appu, in which Appu was in first grade, will be shown chronologically next on the timeline by writing the age of five years on it. And finally, the picture of Appu's 7th birthday will be shown by writing the age of 7 years on the timeline. In this way, Appu's timeline is ready. Children, do you remember uncle's pictures which Raju and Bablu found? Can you draw uncle's timeline from these pictures? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. Well done children, you have found the right answer. Finally, 
Chanda 2 completed Appu's timeline and arranged Appu's pictures chronologically in this way in his album. Appu was very happy to see his pictures arranged chronologically. Children, in this video we learned about the timeline. In the next video, we will learn more about it. Hello children! In the previous video, we learned about the timeline. In this video, we will learn more about it. Raju has come to play at Bablu's house. Raju kept waiting for Bablu for a long time. But Bablu has been writing something in a diary since quite some time. When Raju asked him, what he has been writing in that diary for so long? Then Bablu told him that he is writing about the tasks he does through the day in that diary. Raju got excited. He asked Bablu to read what he has written in his diary. Bablu started reading. I eat food with my parents. Every night at 9 o'clock. I wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning every day. I play with my friends at 4 o'clock in the afternoon every day. I go to school at 9 o'clock in the morning every day. Bablu was going to read further, but Raju stopped him. Oh no, Bablu! In what incorrect sequence have you written your daily routine? Why don't you write it more beautifully in a sequence using the timeline? Bablu could not understand anything. Raju, I only know how to make a timeline from age. Can you teach me how to make a timeline using time? Look, Bablu, first, we will write the very first task in your daily routine on the timeline. Of these four tasks, which task do you do first and at what time? Children, can you tell out of these four tasks, which task does Bablu do first in the day and at what time? Well done, children. You have found the right answer. Bablu wakes up every day at 8 o'clock in the morning. Raju drew a timeline in Bablu's diary in this way and wrote 8 o'clock in the morning as the very first task. He told Bablu that he can write Wake up every morning under this or if he wants he can also draw a picture for it now raju asked bablu to identify which one of the remaining three tasks does he perform next in sequence in the morning after waking up before he performs the other tasks in the day Children, can you tell according to time, which one of these three tasks does Bablu perform first? If you wish to, you can stop the video and find the answer. That's correct! Bablu first goes to school at 9 o'clock in the morning. Raju now wrote, 9 o'clock in the morning on the timeline in this way and drew a picture like this below it. Bablu got excited seeing Raju's picture. It looks so much prettier than the daily routine I had written. Children, now can you write these remaining two tasks 
in the correct sequence on the timeline? If you wish to, you can stop the video and find the answer. Well done children, you have written it correctly. Raju also completed the timeline in Bablu's diary by drawing beautiful pictures and writing the time in the correct order. Bablu thanked Raju for teaching him to write his daily routine using the timeline beautifully. And then both went to the play park. Children, here are some tasks and their time related to Golu's daily routine. Can you make a timeline of Golu's daily routine? You can find the answer by stopping the video. Well done! You made it perfectly! Children, in this video, we learnt more about the timeline. 